Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm looking fresh, right? I just had the best shopping day slash dinner, lunch, I guess, with my girls. It was great. But I stopped at Walmart on the way home. And let me tell you what I got. New face masks for our video series. I just wanted to show you these guys because you're going to be seeing them a lot in the next week. So this one is the Freeman Melting Sugar Face Mask. Rose, I think it's probably rose, but I'm gonna say rose gummy bear. Look at that, it's like clear in the center. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this yet, but I am excited. I couldn't decide between them, so I also got the the matcha ice cream one because matcha ice cream, right? And then I got this one, which is supposed to be a cosmic holographic peel-off mask. These were $1.37 each. I'll let you know following this if if this is any good, but for $1.37, girl, I am in. I am in. All right, we'll try these out, okay? All right, we're back, guys, and I decided which one I wanted to do. I think I want to do this Rose Gummy Bear sheet mask. You can tell it is business time. I got my hair up. So, I... <laughs> I know it doesn't look like it. And in this spectacular bathroom lighting, uh, yeah, here, try that. Oh my God, look at that. It's like I have a face. This is a face with good color. All right, give me just a second here. I'm going to wipe off all this makeup and we'll get to going. Today's makeup is gone. Had a real rough day today, guys. I had brunch. <laughs> Wish I was kidding about that, but that's all I accomplished today. All right, we're gonna try reading the instructions on this cute thing because otherwise, we all we all know what happens to Anna. We all know. Okay, the Freeman Melting Sugar Face Mask. Sweeten up your skincare routine. Blah blah blah. On oh, boy, no, this one has real sugar in it. That's how you get ants. All right, apply to clean face and neck, avoiding contact with high eyes and hairline. Gently rub mask onto skin and watch the skin boosters melt. Leave on for 10 minutes and then rinse with warm water. Oh, I thought this was like, I thought this was a she mask we were doing, guys. We are not doing a she mask. I think we're doing like a regular mask. I, I'm only got this for like one treatment, but you might be able to do two. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is goo. This is goo. This is not, oh my God. A uh, strong, strong smell of roses. Oh, there's definitely enough in here that you could do two. I'm not going to do two for, cause for $1.37, I am that bougie. But there's definitely enough in here to do too. Can you see anything? But this has a very strong rose smell. If you do not like the scent of roses, you will not like this. Or if you're very sensitive to scent. See, it's just a big old pile of... It's pretty goo. It's like super pretty goo. All right. It's cool. Um, but I have applied a very generous layer and there's like a ton left in here that you could, you could use elsewhere. So yeah, if you are on a budget and this stuff ends up not being garbage, you can definitely get two uses out of it if that's something that you are into. Okay. All right, so I've got it on here. I'll come back in 10 minutes. 
I will say this, I'm having some very strong tingling around my nose here. That skin is a little bit raw because it's allergy season and I've got some redness from blowing my nose and stuff, but I'm definitely feeling some distinctly uncomfortable tingling around there. So we'll see if that continues. All right, see you guys in 10 minutes. All right, we're back guys. It's been 10 minutes. So my face did get a little tight, a little warm, but it wasn't overly uncomfortable for whatever reason. Like I didn't feel, you know, inconvenienced by it. Just a second, let me get some more water here. You can definitely see some redness. All right, the mask is off. Let's dry my face here. All right, we got some redness up in here. It does me feel smoother. Like my face feels that like tight, youthful, smooth. I think it does feel moisturized, not in a super comfortable moisture, way not like dipping into a milk bath but in a like oh i feel like this product might have done something now in no way do i think this product oh got that one alfalfa hair going in no way do i think this product was probably good for me it was literally a dollar 37 at the walmart um but overall i felt like it was pretty nice on my skin it leaves some tackiness that's why i keep doing this to my face um, I'm probably going to wash my face again or rinse everything off after I finish filming because I've got this like tacky feeling all over my skin, but my skin does actually feel pretty good. The rose scent lingers and lingers strongly. Again, I like rose scent, so that's not going to be a problem for me, but if you are sensitive to scent or your skin is super tender, I would not recommend this product. Otherwise, I'm going to give this one a B minus. Did what it's supposed to do. Feels pretty good. I think it was worth the $1.37. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this other review. Um, if you have any other Walmart face masks that you recommend, totally let me know. Link it down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.